This season is off to a wild start as some of the new items this season are completely OP within competitive and this has also started a casual versus sweat war on social medias with casuals saying pros can never adapt and always complain when there is a fun season and this is due to the fact that the cars are very OP and ranked and then inside of competitive three of the new items within the game are so overpowered it's actually hilarious to watch if you haven't watched scrims at all the new cola and nitro fist are some of the craziest items i have ever watched in my time watching fortnite competitive both of them are completely broken and make for some of the craziest plays ever nitro and the new cola give you the nitro effect and you can basically just infinitely run through walls with them and if you use them in game it looks like this Аптека, аптека. А, нахер. Then for the Nitro Fist, this is basically the Chains of Hades, Kinetic Blade and Rocket Ram just mashed into one item. And if the fists get inside your box, there's literally nothing you can do but accept your fate of going back to the lobby. Especially if it happens in in-game, when other people are also spraying at you as well so you can't build. Take a look at how the fists play out in comp as well. I'm 10 HP. This, is, this game is actually, uh, our esports insane to me. Yeah, it's another team. It's full good. Yeah. I think so. Oh, it's done. Break out, break out. Break out. Break out. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's in. Oh, we're both one. I'm out though. Yeah. I'm here, we fizz, and I think we can make it to the camp. Yeah, you lead to it. I don't know what that is. All right. Oh, what oh, the f? Oh. Yo! 30 HP! Oh my god, bro, what are we playing? <laughs> Aside from those two items that everyone has access to, we also have the Ringmaster Scar's Mythic Boom Bolt combined with the Ringmaster Scar's Infinite Ammo Medallion, and these two combined might be the most toxic combination of items we have ever seen within comp. The team who claims the Nitrodrome this season basically possesses the power to fully grief any team they want whenever they want. They can just infinitely spray this Boom Bolt that does 4 damage through walls and 77 damage on direct impacts with no damage fall off since it just shoots a grenade and not a bullet. Countless times during NA Pro Scrims, Kanata just shoots at a team for multiple minutes and depletes everything they have materials wise. I'm not even gonna lie, this combination of weapon and medallion has the potential to be more OP than the Grim Gate medallion, just based on the fact that the player holding these two items can grief whoever they want, so they control the lobby around them during the early and mid game. They can also fully grief high ground in game, so they control the end game just like the Grimgate Medallion. So I think with no nerfs to the bow, we could be seeing Grimgate 2.0 this season with the Nitrodrome POI and the Mythic Boom Bolt and the Infinite Ammo Medallion that you get from Ringmaster Scar. Now as for nerfs for these items go, I expect for sure we will be seeing some sort of tweaks made to the Fist and to Nitro and maybe even the Mythic Boom Bolt as well because I think at the current time these items are just way way too powerful. There's almost no penalty to spam punching with the Fist and also no counter to it as well besides trying to attempt to punch back the player that's punching you. And I think the whole running through the walls mechanic with the Nitro should be tweaked. You shouldn't be able to run through multiple walls and still keep the Nitro effect on. Maybe if they make it so if you run through a structure, it depletes the stamina of the Nitro severely. And then for the Boom Bolt, I do not know what they can change. Maybe tuning the structure damage down a little bit so it's not really as useful in a spam way. But I'm just not really sure what to change with the Boom Bolt. Let me know your thoughts down below on these three items and what you think of them based on what you've seen from scrims or maybe a streamer playing the game. Or maybe just based on your own personal experience playing this season so far. But now I want to move on to some more duo news. And if you didn't see my last video, confirmed duos this season, we've got Clix and Vino, Yamzo and Taysen, Mixon and Blaha, Vert and Kylie, Kwani Yapko, Rise Agers, Buga Aviv, Muzz and Trashy, and Dukes and Sphinx. A lot of new duos on the NA region, but we have more duos to talk about in this video, as we also have Marrow and Pink officially confirmed to be playing this season on NA. And then we also have Epic Will and Threats pairing up now, Edgy and Death pairing up, Pump and Paco, Sinted and Walkers, 
Then over on EU, two confirmed new duos. We got Vico and Flixie and Aqua and Noah Riley are playing once again. Now, I'm not too sure what to think of Mero and Pink. If this duo is grinding, it could be very good. And apparently, Mero said he will be grinding this season and going all out to try to qual to the global championship. So if Mero and Pink do grind, I think they could be very good. And then Epic Will and Threats, I really like this duo. Epic Will will be IGLing, Threats will be fragging, of course. And I think Threats is a very good pairing for Epic Will because last season, Clix and Epic Will really struggled with Surge. And Threats is one of the best Surge players in Fortnite. He has some of the best aim in Fortnite and arguably the best aim in Fortnite as well. So I think this is a really good pairing for Epic Will. And I'm not going to lie, if this somehow doesn't work out, I really think this should be the nail in the coffin for Epic Epic Wells and IGL and if this fails I think he should go back to a fragger and that's something I've thought for a long time but I think him and Threads should definitely do better than what him and Clicks did last season and outperform them that season and maybe just outperform Epic Well and Clicks as a duo in general who also pretty heavily underperformed pretty much the entire time and then we have Edgy and Death Edgy was just signed to Exit along with Muzz, Trashy, and Ritual as part of their ESL 4v4 team for DreamHack Dallas. So maybe that gave Edgy a breath of fresh air and now he wants to compete even more since he's on an org. So he's going to be playing with Death this season. Death will be IGLing him. So I'm glad to see Edgy taking a little bit more of a serious approach to this season and I really hope it goes well for him. Then we have Pump and Paco that's confirmed but not necessarily confirmed for the rest of the season. They're going to be trying out in a third party cup which takes place on Wednesday. So they're not 100% confirmed but this is the duo as of right now. Then we have Sinted and Walkers playing as well. Sinted is still trying to take this underrated approach and he's going to be picking up Walkers for this season. And then we have Vico and Flixie playing on EU. This is apparently the EU version of Peter Bot and Pollo. And funny enough they are actually coached by the same exact coach Razaru over on EU. So it's going to be interesting to see if this duo can live up to the hype of being called the EU version of Peter Bot and Pollo. And then we have Aqua and Noah Riley playing once again. This duo actually played pretty decent in Chapter 5 Season 1 Grands, but they were contested. So it's going to be interesting to see how they can do this season if they could be Uncon. We all know Aqua is one of the greatest players of all time, and it's always super fun to see him competing in whatever season he chooses to compete in. But as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel to always be caught up to date on anything Fortnite competitive related, whether that's tournament recaps, new duo news, or any changes that happen to the loot pool within competitive. I'm your number one place to always be caught up on Fortnite competitive. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you dropped a like on it, as it would help it get pushed out to even more people to see this video and to see my channel. This season's shaping up to be a pretty interesting one. Through watching scrims and stuff, I think it's actually a pretty fun season to watch. It's just very, very hectic with some broken items. And also combining that with the fact that NA has some of the biggest storylines ever this season with all the EU players coming over. I think this season is shaping up to be one of the best ever competitively in terms of content and also in terms of storylines throughout the whole season. So make sure to subscribe to always be caught up with everything going on in this crazy season that we are about to have. That's going to do it for me in this video, guys, talking about some of the absolutely broken items we have in the season and also talking about some more confirmed duos we have for this season as well. Thank you all for watching this video and I will see you next time.